uh, Twitter has added a new feature for lists. How cool is that? Nice. And everybody goes, what? <laughs> what does that mean? A list of what? Well, first of all, you get on over to twitter.com slash Robbie Ferguson, and that's going to give you access to finding out some little bits of tidbits about uh, about me, what I do, and uh, you know through the week, what I'm up to. But if we hop over to uh, to Twitter, cool new feature, and it's really nice to see that they're that they're starting to you know it's been a while since we've seen a real genuine improvement in the user interface hmm. for Twitter, and so it's really been pushing a lot of people to use third party applications, TweetDeck, Seismic, things like that. But then you run into the problem that if you've got a 64-bit processor on Linux and you try to use Adobe Air, it doesn't work, and so it's this catch-22, so then you go back to the twitter.com website and find, it my goodness, it's, uh, it's, it's horrible. So, um, so what Twitter has done now is added the lists feature, which allows us to, uh, to actually filter uh, who we're receiving updates from. Uh, so basically... <laughs> What it allows us to do. Here's the scenario. I love to follow the people who follow me. So again, twitter.com slash Robbie Ferguson. If you're looking for a follower, follow me. I'll follow you back. If I don't follow you back, let me know because I probably just missed you because sometimes it, it happens really fast. But what happens is, you know, right now I'm following almost 300 people. A lot of those people I don't know, obviously. And a lot of those people talk about things that just possibly don't interest me. So with the list feature, rather than going to Twitter and getting this you know, bombardment of every message from those 300 people that, that has been posted, and you know, possibly one of my friends or somebody who's really uber interesting falls down to the bottom of the list because of all these other ones, well, now we've got the list feature, which allows us to say, okay, these are the people that I want to really read up on and, and catch their tweets. Um, so this allows me to focus on certain topics by only following or only reading the tweets from those particular people, but without having to unfollow those, those other people. So we can still stay followed to everybody so they don't lose a follower by us just figuring, ah, I don't really read their posts. Uh, it allows us to just say, okay, I really want to follow such and such person. So all you have to do, now I'm going to just switch over to my profile here and see if I can do it from there, and I can, which is good. Hey, math man. There there, how was that for a cameo? All right. So now, okay. So we're looking at we're looking at uh, at Twitter.com, and maybe the resolution is too low that you won't be able to read the ones that are not so nice. Lists over on the right hand side is a new feature. I'm going to click on new list, and I'm going to call this list my friends. Okay. I can choose if I want this to be a public list or a private list. Is it just for me, or is it okay for my other friends to say, hey, I'm also friends with those people, so I'll follow that list. I'll say that this one's public, and I'll create the list. So now I can go to my followers list, and I can, just, I can go to uh, anybody that, uh, that I'm personally following. I'm going to pick my wife because I can generally say that she's pretty safe. She's actually on there. And I can click on lists, and you can see that my friends is now one of my optional lists. So I can click on my friends, and now she is on that list. So now going back to my, my profile, twitter.com slash Robbie Ferguson, you'll see my two lists over on the right-hand side. Now we've got a Category 5 TV team page uh, list, which is everybody who's on the team that I know of that's on Twitter, so you can follow that if you want. But now I've got my friends. And if I click on my friends, I'll see all the posts just by Becca because she's the only person I'm following on that list. So you can add people, you know, say one of the, one of the things would be doing it by topic. So you, you've got people who always quite often talk about technology. So you create a new list and you call it technology. And when you're in, a mo in the mood for technology, you click on that list and you're just getting the, those people's tweets, things like that. So it can be used, uh, it can be very, very useful um, and gives us a chance to kind of weed out uh, some of the tweets that we don't necessarily want to watch, uh, that we don't want to read. We don't want to see. Hey, VK7HSE. Lots of people now. You see what happens? Oh, is now okay. we're getting people see, on Twitter see. saying, "Hey, hey, hey." Yeah, watching Category Five. Nice. Watching Category Five. Way to spread the word and do that. Get onto Twitter.com and and tweet that people are watching.